Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today, unlike the joy of painting with Bob Ross, we have the non-joy of rust removal with me, myself and I. Today I'll be showing you how you can remove the rust out of the bottom of your classic car door, which is very common on most classic cars. And I'll also be showing you a cheat of how you can fold long sheets of steel, uh, get angles into them without the use of a brake press, because not everyone has the money for a brake press. So uh, yeah, let's get into tackling the rust on this sucker. Righto, so first thing to do is flip this sucker over and then be able to look at the bottom of the door, show you where the rust is. Okay, so unlike the wetter states of America, the Northern Europe and the UK, the rust that we get here in Australia is nowhere near as severe, but you can still see that there's a line of pitting where this rubber seal for the bottom of the door has sat and so it's eaten in there. Obviously what you can't see is the inside of the panel. It's had 50 years to sit there unprotected with moisture on it. So it's gone through in a few places. And I would estimate that out of the 0.8 mil of steel uh, thickness, that it's probably down to 0 0.5, 0 0.6 uh, overall. The other thing, the main reason I wanted to get in here is it has started to bloom or swell between the spot welds and there's really no way to get into that area apart from removing one of the panels to be able to clean the rust up and um, treat it. So what I'm going to do is cut the whole area out and remake a new panel. You can buy aftermarket repair panels for the bottom of the doors. Uh, I've had to do that once in the past when I had no option. But honestly, um, they're made of cheap, thin steel. The edges of them are razor sharp. Um, they're pretty crap quality with the pressing. So for me, because I can just repair a small section, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make up my own repair panel and show you a cheat of how to do that without a brake press. Uh, but first off, let's mark it up and cut out the old crap. Bit of masking tape always works well for uh, giving a straight edge for you to cut along with the grinder. Because I'm normally pretty good, but there are times when for some reason my aim is really crap. El grindo time! I also love it when, a, uh, <coughs> when you have to grind close to a, an edge because it means you get to use up all of those grinding discs that for thick materials you can't get to. Gotta get your money's worth. Righto, so how do you go about bending long sections of sheet steel when you don't have a brake press? The method that I use is I've got a couple of bits of angle iron, six mil thick, 50 mil wide, and then some G-clamps. And all you do is just put your steel in there, line it up as in the video, clamp the ends with G-clamps, and then the middle I clamp in the vise. And then I just like hammered it over, but another way that is a little bit better uh, is you get a thick bit of steel, you just tack weld that along the top edge of what you're gonna bend over, and then you can use the thicker bit of steel to just give you a bit more leverage to push the steel over, but you'll still end up having to uh, hammer the bend itself so that you get a nice defined bend. And then to be able to make the channel that the rubber sits in, it's a 10 mil wide channel. Well, because this is six mil thick, then you see in the video that I've got this four mil thick bit of steel 
and you just arrange it in such a way that when it's all clamped together you can then bend over that return lip and form your channel and hey presto you end up with a repair panel with the repair panel fabricated it was then just a case of trimming it to size to fill the hole i'd made and then i utilized the angle iron just because the door panel the outer door skin um, had bowed outwards because it was no longer being held in tension uh, from removing the panel and so to pull it in i just used the angle iron as a straight edge uh, because the ch channel uh, where it seals up against the body is a straight edge. So uh, I just clamped that together, did a spot weld at either end, uh, sorry, a plug weld at either end, and then did a plug weld in the middle. Once that was all held together, then it was just a case of rinse and repeat, do all the plug welds, and once all the plug welds were done, then do the butt weld. And the, the dog decides to, to bark because you know filming with nature never goes as you planned they always say don't work with children or animals or your neighbor's dog yep anyhow now that that's all welded in we can go take a look at the finished result and here's one i made yesterday pretty darn happy with that anyhow take the camera off and then give you a close-up and uh, then call that a job a good one focus there we go so yep no more rust That's just where the three plug welds are for the uh, inner strengthener for the hinge. And then you probably like panel beat that flat. So that's the only area. Maybe I'll stick another plug weld in it. On the hole. Turned out pretty darn good. Almost ready for paint. Righto, ta-da, one repaired door. Pretty happy with how that came out. Like I says, the technique is universal for most classic cars. They have a similar construction. And uh, like I says, it's quite easy to make up your own repair panels. You don't necessarily have to have expensive tooling to do it, uh, which is always handy because not all of us are like, you know, well off. I know I ain't, I'd love to be, but hey ho anyhow um yeah if you found the video useful then um please smash that like button if you think someone you know will find it handy then do share it around and of course if you like what i get up to on my channel then please subscribe and uh yeah on to the next task catch you later Thank you.